Hi everyone. From my last video, I received a couple of comments and messages asking whether I was successful in purchasing the brand new 2020 Rolex Oyster Perpetual. The model I'm after is the 41mm with a green dial. I thought I'd make a separate video detailing how that went and more broadly how the waitlist system works when purchasing a brand new Rolex. As always, the video is timestamped, starting with a brief description of how the waitlist system works, followed by my experience in three different Rolex authorised dealers, including Harrods, Watches of Switzerland, and Pragnell. The waitlist system is also sometimes called a wish list, or more recently, an expression of interest. But all of these basically mean the same thing that the authorised dealer will take your details and contact you once that watch becomes available. Unfortunately, the reality is a little more confusing. Authorised dealers like to prioritise clients whom have previously bought from them or who are willing to purchase other, less desirable brands and models. This makes sense from a customer service perspective as loyal customers are rewarded. Furthermore, from a business perspective, it works well as a dealer is able to get rid of harder to move pieces that usually also generate a larger profit for themselves. However, this makes it harder for new customers who want a specific desirable watch to enter Rolex ownership with. With the green OP41 being released just a couple of weeks ago, it is very desirable. Myself, having no prior purchase history and no intention of buying other items I don't want, it was very unlikely I would get one, but here's how my attempt went. Harrods has quite a large fine watches section, featuring all of the big brands, including Audemars Piguet, Gigi Lacout and Rolex. The customer service here was okay, but not brilliant. The process was easy. I just gave my details and my Harrods Rewards card number and they said they'd contact me if one became available. The sales assistant did not seem very optimistic though and I fully understand that Harrods probably has some huge clients who spend millions of pounds who would be way ahead of me on the list. I was able to try on a 36mm date dress just to see how it would look as I was still deciding between an OP36 and an OP41. Trying on the Datejust 36 though helped me to confirm that the OP36 would be too small and I should go for the OP41. Watches of Switzerland stores are part of the Watches of Switzerland group, which also includes Goldsmiths and Mappin and Webb. This is important to know as some of the forums speculate that if you put your name down in several different Watches of Switzerland group stores for the same model, you may be excluded from purchasing. I'm not sure if this is true, but just to be safe, I only visited one store. The customer service experience here was again, okay. The service assistant basically just took down my details and said they'd give me a call. Again, he wasn't very optimistic, and I understand why. The last store I visited was Pragnell's in Mayfair. The customer service here was brilliant. The dealer seemed genuinely interested in the reasons I wanted to buy the watch, and bought out a Datejust 41 just to show me how the OP41 will look in proportion to my wrist. He also took the time to understand my current collection and how this would fit within it. Finally, he also took the time to explain how the whole process worked, and seemed very optimistic. In fact, he openly said that I will receive the watch and that it was just a matter of time. In conclusion, I'm not sure whether I'll have the chance to buy this watch, but I'm going to keep trying and contacting the ADs, especially Pragnos, probably once every quarter, just to keep my name in the bid-in. It doesn't help that grey market prices for this model are as high as £7,500 for a watch that retails for just £4,700, so either demand is very high or supply is very low, possibly both. I think we'll know more in the next couple of weeks as this model has only been out for two weeks. I will keep you all updated as to how this goes. Let me know how you purchased your first Rolex. Did you go through the authorised dealer route or through the grey market? What do you think of the whole waitlist situation? I hope you found this video informative. All the best, Rashid.